Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market prep video for August 6th, 2020. Well, I got to tell you, yesterday was uh, Party Central. We just powered higher and higher and higher yesterday. We we're kind of fueled up on several news driven items. First off, we heard the Fed may. Um, come out soon with a plan that they're just going to keep interest rates where they are possibly for years to try and inspire inflation. Um, we also um, continue to get the news reports um, from Congress as they wrangle back and forth over the extent of the stimulus plan. And the president's now threatening if they don't hurry up and get the job done, he's going to do an executive order to get as much of it done as possible. So we know money is coming and the market loves that freshly printed money. And then um, we also had tons of um, vaccine news that kept hitting the market um, pushing things around so what does that mean for this morning well how about we settle into our chair and let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the morning market prep video so if we take a look at the technicals of the chart um, here in the diamonds there's really nothing right now that suggests any bearishness we had that point in time where there was some question here where we broke that trend and we broke some support levels in this price action but we have recovered that in in an amazing fashion just an absolute bullish bum rush to the upside bears don't have any energy whatsoever um, well they haven't eaten in so long um, how could they have much energy and so we continue to power higher and if we take a look at the longer term downtrend here in the chart um, yesterday we made some pretty big inroads um, we broke through that um, overall downtrend in the Dow pushing through so any kind of rest consolidation or pullback in here sets up the opportunity for upside move as long as we can hold support and um, those bulls are definitely strong right the Dow rising 373 points yesterday just powered up on um, thoughts of that great stimulus money and and Fed action so what happens after a big party well we have been partying 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 all week one kind of has to question when could we possibly see the hangover um you know big parties are always a blast and this bullish party has certainly been a blast but we have to consider the possibility and not be lulled into complacency thinking that the market could never pull back <coughs> excuse me i think at any point in time there is a possibility that this market could pull back and we'll want to watch that pretty darn closely now this morning we face a few things um well really one thing in the market that may or may not have some impact on us um, and we'll have to wait and see because yesterday we had this terrible adp number the market completely shrugged it off we don't care about jobs anymore that is just not important as we continue to ride the wave of all of this federal interaction um, and spending um, into the market let's take a look at some of the technicals here in the dow what do we have going here well if we look at these technicals as you can see our 50-day moving average just peaked above that 200-day moving average yesterday here in the chart this has been lagging way behind um, the, the S&P 500 and the Qs, but we finally got that to happen yesterday. One thing I do want to point out, though, is when we cross over, remember, we have that, <clears throat> that very real potential. Anytime we um, break real high above the 50-day moving average of that, painful pullback that can occur here and if i go into um let's take a look at the dow index so we can measure this if we measure from yesterday's close just back down here to these tails that were just earlier this week um 
we can notice that is 1,800 points, um, uh, excuse me, 1,100 points um, lower um, in the chart. So just keep in mind that if those bears were to attack, there is that substantial possibility of a hardcore pullback because of this parting that we've been doing. I'm not going to suggest that that's going to occur, just that the possibility exists and we're going to have to stay on our toes and just be careful not to become overly complacent in the market. And it's easy to become overly complacent when we're so ravenously bullish. There just seems to be no way that the bears can fight back. But trust me, there will be a day when they do fight back and they will fight back hard. So you want to stay on your toes and stay focused um, in a market like this. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also very bullish and one of the interesting things about SPY if we were to measure from where we closed yesterday up to new record highs we are only about two percent away from new record highs now I got to tell you when we get <clears throat> that close to new record highs it's <clears throat> you know um, we know that already on the floor of the exchange they have the new record high hats already made up and when we get that close sometimes it's just an automatic draw to that level so even though we're really pretty stretched out in this run there is that possibility that there will be an endless push by institutions to drive us up here we they want those headlines the more times that they can get headlines of new record highs and things like that it attracts more money to the market so you could easily see them just push and drive and force everything possible for that possible um, new record high breakout in the SPY. So watch for that possibility as well. Even though I'm I'm saying be watchful and be not be complacent for the possible pullback. Also keep in mind that that drive higher just is a, a, a well it's so tempting uh, for that to occur and um, we can just we can already see the pictures that they've already donned their new record high um, hats uh, for the news reports let's take a look at the cues qqq also being very very bullish but yesterday a little bit more modest because we saw a, just a teeny tiny bit of weakness in some of those big techs. They didn't really sell off, but they just kind of sat there and rested. We did see a substantial move um, in Amazon, and that helped a lot yesterday. And Facebook could be setting up to the upside. And if we take a look, um, we've had this triple top high. And there is that little bit of concern in here that we could be topping out here in Amazon, but we still have yet to break any support or trend in the chart. So that possibility that we could just power on through and with the relentless drive that we've seen in those bulls here recently, there's no reason to believe that can occur. So watch that closely. We could drive right on through that potential triple top. If we were to slip and fall and break some support levels, that's where things could get a little bit sketchy. So just keep an eye on that. That possibility does exist as well. Let's take a look at IWM. Now, IWM um, has been um, struggling and struggling and struggling for some time. Um, and we've talked about several times this overall trend um, has been broken and we held it as support. That's been uh, bullish for IWM. And as you can see, we're continuing to rally strongly. And yesterday, we finally broke through this resistance that has been struggling um, with for some time. And I'm not talking about this price action resistance. I'm talking about the resistance of that 500 day moving average. We broke through there. Now the question is, will it hold? We still have to to push right on through that level and prove that we can actually break that. But don't be too surprised if we see some kind of arrest or pullback 
to retest that level as support. Pretty common when that occurs. So we have this kind of back and forth going on here. We have a very extended um, um, weekly run to the upside that could continue to extend to hit some of those new record highs in the S&P 500. But we also know that when we party this hard, there's often a hangover as the consequence. And so we'll watch, be watching for that and stay on our toes for that. Let's take a look at the VIX. <clears throat> I think it's really interesting that we're seeing so much buying going on in in select stocks. Um, we're not seeing a widespread market breadth increase. Um, as a matter of fact, our market breadth continues to decline. And we still see this VIX struggling to move lower. So there's there's some challenges here that still exist in this VIX and a little bit of complexity in the market that we're going to have to deal with. And as you can see, we're holding that support, but we're also holding this downtrend in this chart. If the VIX were to get that fear spike, we could easily pop through that downtrend. But if we could finally get some relaxation here in this market and move that VIX lower, well, everyone that trades options would appreciate that because those options will finally start to cheapen up a little bit and we do have another layer of price support in this chart as you can see across here all this price action in here that we could still move down and test that level let's watch that carefully as we continue to bounce around in here maybe we can break down through there maybe we can't we're going to want to watch that closely a test down here around that 500 day moving average um, in the vix would be pretty darn nice and notice that we have that possibility that soon the 50 may cross down through the 200 here in the vix although moving Moving averages on the VIX aren't very reliable because the VIX is kind of that uh, goofy volatility uh, um, stock. It's something we want to pay attention to. Let's take a look at um, uh, T2122. Now here's where that complication comes in. We have that bullishness in the market, pretty rampant bullishness in the market. We have lots of news driven items even today that's going to occur with lots of earnings reports, but we are pushed back up here into this bearish reversal zone. And you guys can see with consistency, I mean, this is as consistent as clockwork. We push up into this bearish reversal zone, we typically find some profit taking some sellers. Now that doesn't mean we collapse or, or sell clear off, but it is just that warning that we're going to have to be careful not to become too complacent with this bullishness that at any point in time, profit taking could come in. So we'll want to stay on top of that and watch that pretty closely. And then I want to mention again T2101 because this is really one of those perplexing situations, how we continue to see the market rising so strongly, um, 373 points in the Dow, and yet look at the overall market breadth of the market. We're not getting that market breadth. We, we've got a divergence here that is substantial and a glaring um, issue that we want to stay on top of and pay attention to. So keep a close eye on that. If um, my, my suspicion is if sellers do come in, if we do see a selling wave or if those bears really start to attack, we could really see um, absolute breadth can um, rise pretty rapidly because those bears are pretty hungry um, at this point. So watch that close. I'm not suggesting that that's going to occur, just that that possibility exists and we should watch for that carefully. Notice these lines that I've placed on this chart and I'm going to back this up and show you that as I continue to back this off and I'm going to go to a weekly even, when we reach up here into these areas, we typically get that pullback in that breath reading. Um, but also keep in mind, when we push down into these lower areas, we tend to get that breadth to spike up. And I think that might be the selling wave that could come at any point in time. So just kind of keep that in mind. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar does have a lot 
to um, chew on today. It's only one report, but a lot to potentially chew on, and that's this jobless claims number. Now, honestly, the market has just ignored jobless claims. We don't care. Um, it, it's phenomenal that we have so many people unemployed. The market just doesn't care, and I think it's all due to the, the all the you know the stimulus spending and things uh, from the FOMC and um, the government that's creating that. Um, but there is a possibility that this could move up. Consensus estimates are suggesting that jobless claims are going in the wrong direction. And at some point in time, the, we keep saying the market doesn't care about jobs, the market doesn't care about jobs, but some point in time it will. And just kind of keep that in mind. It doesn't care until all of a sudden it does. Could that be today? I have no idea. And remember, as you plan the rest of your day, remember, we're going to have this big employment situation number that comes out Friday morning before the market opens. So just have that in your plan, in your thinking uh, for um, tomorrow morning. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now, on our earnings calendar, there's way more stocks than I can potentially cover here. Um, um, in the video, we have over 400 companies reporting earnings. Ups, whoops. And um, on those earnings reports, um, you know, uh, really anything um, is possible. And so we'll want to kind of keep that in mind. Some of the things that you might want to pay attention today, we're going to see um, reports from like uh, BDX. BDX has been in this amazing rally. They're a medical um, instrument. Uh, provider obviously um, could be strong in a market like this where we're dealing with COVID. We're going to see uh, Dropbox um, um, reporting today. That might be an interesting report. Uh, Post Packaged Foods um, uh, will be reporting. ILMN will be reporting. Whoops. I L M N. There we go. We'll be reporting. Um, we've got um, some big oil. M U R. We'll be reporting. Um, Papa John's will be on the list today. Um, so stocks like that, TripAdvisor, um, will will be on the list. So just stay on your toes. There's going to be a lot of reports today. There could be a lot of price movement around some of these reports, and we'll want to stay on top of that. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits in your trading. It's been quite a run here in the market, that is for sure and for certain. But if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could do me a favor, if you could click that subscribe, subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon so that um, you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And also, please feel free to check out all the educational videos that I have on the channel. Right now, there's over 800 50 videos on this channel so um, quite a lot of content um, uh, out there for you to to view also remember if you felt like this video was helpful to you please click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment and of course always feel free to share this video on um, any Facebook or Twitter feed or whatever uh, you use to put information out feel free to share this video um, at any time so with that everyone um, let's take a second to look at some stocks that could be setting up please remember that none of these stocks are a recommendation to buy or sell any security they're just part of the education that I provide and um, looking at the technicals and things and charts um, you may find these helpful first off I've mentioned these before and I want to mention them again um, FDX FDX continues to set up here you can see I've got this alerted watching this rising move obviously in um, um, people doing an awful lot of online shopping. And so uh, FedEx and UPS are doing quite well. Keep an eye on those stocks. Um, if you're not already in them, watch them for that next potential entry. Um, Shopify. Shopify is setting up beautiful little consolidating move after breaking out here to these all time highs. Shopify kind of sliding over here toward trend. Let's watch that closely. See if that can fire up and push on out. 
plenty of stocks to choose from. We had Corning. If you watched the video yesterday, I mentioned the possibility of Corning. Um, this pink line up here is an alert. You can see we're breaking through the long-term downtrend here in Corning, pushing on up. Remember, all of these devices that have been purchased during COVID, all of these devices use Gorilla Glass and uh, it's produced by Corning. So um, good opportunity here. Watch that carefully as we push on through um, on stocks like that. Keep an eye on like um, Kimberly Clark. Kimberly Clark, another one of those defensive sector companies, really gaining a lot of support here recently, popping up hard through my alert. You see any rest or pullback in here now as we kind of rest this, we want to watch for that next opportunity higher in Kimberly Clark. Really nice chart. And although I'm running out of time here already this morning, I would be remiss if I didn't mention gold and silver. Gold and silver has just been on a remarkable run. As, and as we continue to debase um, the U.S. dollar with all of this money printing out there, there is quite a rush into gold and silver stocks. And not just the physical gold and physical silver. You can look at stocks like um, Newmont Mining. Um, um, whoops. Can't type this morning. Um, Newmont Mining, it's been moving up. Um, gold, bearing gold, um, has been moving up. Um, AUI, um, beautiful trends in these stocks. So gold and silver. Now, I continue to suspect that there's going to be some kind of a pullback here soon. We've just, we've gone up about 60 points in the last couple of days or $60 an ounce in gold and a rest or pullback seems likely we're almost parabolic in this move. So watch that closely. Any rest or pullback in those gold and silver um, stocks could provide a great opportunity for an entry into those trades because I suspect we're just going to continue to print and bail out and, and do all of these things um, in this uh, COVID market to try and keep things going and gold and silver could easily go much higher. So watch those close. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all an awesome, awesome day. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. I truly appreciate it. Thanks to everyone who leaves those um, kind comments and clicks those thumbs up buttons. I truly, truly appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Everyone take care, be safe, and we will see you right back here bright and early Friday morning for that employment situation situation number that could be kind of interesting tomorrow. Take care, everyone. We'll talk to you soon.